Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I allegedly, and uh, I've got a good one for you today because you guys get a bonus video today, and uh, <laughs> this is almost unbelievable because you're being set up right now, and uh, there's so much to cover. So I wanted to pull over and literally cover this quickly for you guys. Okay, first things first. As usual, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. And uh, don't forget to join the email list so you can get uh, the details on uh, Christmas in May. But first things first, Jamie Dimon, CEO of uh, J.P. Morgan, the world's largest bank. This hotel they're building right here, downtown Huntington Beach. Jamie Dimon steps forward and says that if the debt ceiling limit is not raised and solved, there's going to be panic in the streets. There's going to be panic in the markets, and we're going to have chaos before you know it. Before the deadline happens. Now, I want you to understand something, and that this is very serious. They don't practice anything. They don't prepare for anything. They don't sit there and talk about how hey. This could happen. This is going to happen. And the fact that Jamie Dimon is warning you the way that he is right now is insane. Okay? Because think about this. You're going to see a problem with uh, clearing houses. You're going to see a problem with banks. You're going to see a problem with markets being completely shut down and completely upside down if we don't solve this issue right away. Why is that? Why is that? Okay, this has happened before. Remember, when Donald Trump was president, we had a market shutdown. They, you know, the, uh, I remember this really well because the Small Business Administration was supposed to speak at one of my events in January, and hey, we're not even allowed to show up. Well, you can't come as my guest and be my friend and show up. No, it's a, it's a federal crime if I work during this time. How is it working with you showing up to eating? So this is going to happen, guys. And what's happening here couple things I wanted to show you too. See this right here, this vacant building? That was a 7-Eleven that went down for the count, which doesn't happen. 7-Elevens don't go out of business in uh, beach communities when people are buying beer, wine, sodas, and all that stuff. But Jamie Dimon is convinced that the clearinghouses are going to have a problem. You're going to have a problem with transactions. Get yourself ready. Get prepared and make sure that you have multiple bank accounts. Uh, one woman I talked to you yesterday. I have, eight, I have eight banks, Dan. What do you think about that? Oh, good for you. And I've got X amount of dollars put in cash set aside for uh, my emergency fund outside the bank that nobody knows about. Okay? Good for you. That, that's the way it should be right now, guys. So think about this. We're having daily meetings in our war room. That's what Jamie Dimon called it, a war room to prepare for what is about to happen with the with the uh, clearinghouse issues, banking issues, uh, all of this with the markets. It's going to spook the markets, uh, and they're going to have daily meetings. Now, here's where it gets crazy, is that come the 21st of May, he says we're going to have meetings three times a day. Three times a day, they're going to meet on the debt ceiling issue, and how to calm the market. JP Morgan is the world's largest bank with $3.7 trillion in assets. And this guy thinks he's going to be president someday. And remember this, all he cares about is his rich friends. You and I, he does not care about. I don't care how much money you guys have. You're not Jamie Dimon's friend, okay? It's that simple. So those meetings, he also said, and the story is below, so you can read this for yourself. The meetings are then going to go hourly. So why would you need to meet on a banking issue on an hourly basis? Why would you need to do that? Because this is going down. This is something that you guys have to look at and you have to understand the severity of what is about to happen. Because we've had the debt ceiling, you know, this is, you know, there's been a default before, but now this time, this is the time that it's going to be catastrophic. Janet Yellen steps forward again today and sits there and says, if this goes down, you're going to see uh, panic in the markets and chaos in the streets. Hmm. Okay. Remember this. They do not practice a thing ever, 
ever, ever, ever, ever, ever without it coming true. They don't practice cyber attacks without it coming true. They don't practice power outages without it coming true. This is going to go down. Remember that. It's going to happen. And you have to prepare yourself for this. Make sure that you have money out of the bank. Make sure that you, if you, if you didn't, if you couldn't live, you know, and pay your bills for five, seven, ten days, what would you do during this time? Seriously, answer that. Huh? Well, I'm ready, Dan. I'm set. Stock up on food right now because if the clearing houses don't go through, that's they're telling you that you're not going to be able to buy food during this time. So go do yourself a favor, follow the financial preppers' advice, and stock up on a little bit of food in the house. Oh, I just live by myself, Dan. I only buy what I need. I don't want to waste money. Stock up on food right now, guys. Stock up on food. Okay? Read the story below, but this is not a drill. This is not something that is, maybe it's going to happen. You're being set up. We are all being set up. This is, this is going to go down. Okay? So, but this time, it's going to be different. So, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. the next thing is there's another story below about the Biden administration putting together a task force to quietly work on uh, making sure that the pharmaceutical shortage is going to be resolved. Huh? What pharmaceutical shortage? I didn't know there was a pharmaceutical shortage. I have told you guys this. If you have an ailment or you know someone that has an ailment that requires prescription on a daily basis, stock up right now because they're just admitting now and read the article below that there's going to be massive shortages now living through my late girlfriend's cancer uh experience was nuts because what we had was we had you know the, you know i i don't know how you could become addicted to anything because they would okay here's six pills six pills okay that's gonna last me you know, let's see, six, three, I take two a day. It's going to last me three days. Yeah, okay, we'll get you more, okay? You have to stock up on this. You have to scream to the mountaintop and make sure that if you take any diabetes pills, type 2 shenanigans, your blood pressure stuff, anything like that, that you go out and you get yourself this, this drug as, as much as possible and stock up. Call your insurance company, have your doctor write a letter, Oh, sounds like a lot of work, Dan. Sounds like a headache. It is. It's a total headache. Okay? But the difference is when the shortage happens and you've got a one-month supply and you're working through the old stuff over the new stuff, fill your prescriptions on a regular basis like you normally would and act like you're out of them. Don't use the stash. Don't use the stash. Okay? That's really important. Okay? So I have had pharmacists write me over the course of the last year and a half telling me how, hey, we can't get simple drugs. We can't get the statins. We can't get uh, simple blood pressure things. Uh, and again, this is not something that's just, oh, I wonder if this is going to go down. Yes, it is going down. It's going to happen. And for them to have a, a task force to worry about the shortages, it's done. It's done, done, done. It's that simple. So prepare yourself for this, okay? So all you can do is stock up right now and make sure that you have everything that you need right now. Protect yourself, protect your family, but look at the people around you. Because if you, oh, I'm not on medication, Dan. I'm, I'm in perfect health. I don't have to worry about that. You know somebody that is. Somebody elderly, somebody who doesn't, is not in the know. Somebody that's not in the Hello. internet. Okay? Hello. So. Okay. So. Kind of nice that the dog gets to walk through the restaurant. But do you get the gist of this? You're being set up, guys. J.P. Morgan, the war room, their war room, that they're going to get ready. And then uh, the administration working on shortages for cancer drugs. Come on, guys. Come on. Enough is enough. Now, final thing with this emergency is it's out of uh, Ireland. Uh, Tarmington, Tarmi, Tarmig, Tarmigan, Tarmigan Homes. It's PT, you know, is Tarmigan or is it Parmigan? Okay. Anyways, the home builder just went out of business and left everybody high and dry. You know, hundreds of people right now, hundreds of vendors right now, high and dry. And this is the shape of things to come. You're going to see this more and more and more. You're going to see people with these builders go out of business and have deposits, 
uh, not be completed. Uh, you're going to have jobs, uh, homes not be completed. You're going to see people lose their money. Uh, you know, Meg is in the storage talking about how lost her life savings. It's done. No recourse. All these vendors are not getting paid. This is completely a problem. Now, I've had people talk to me and say, hey, is it a good time to, to get my home remodeled and do construction right now? Sure it is right now. But do this, you know, do this with your home builder too. Have deadlines. Have dates. Hey, if you guys aren't done by this date, we get everything refunded to us immediately. And then you can decide if it's an insurmountable problem or a real problem. If you're dealing with a contractor, make sure you go out and you say, hey, if you take this remodel, the, you know, one person wrote me about uh, their garage. They're going to refinish the garage and, you know, make it, you know, make it basically an office and put uh, closets and everything like that. Make sure that this person, your contractor, can get everything. Everything that they're talking about, that they can have it readily available and guarantee you the delivery date. Oh, that's pretty smart, Dan. Yeah, it is because right now, oh yeah, we'll take the job and then it's late, it's done, and it's not completed. So the economic downturn is just cresting right now. It's that simple. All these real estate agents, you're seeing people force people into houses right now. It, you know, with their with their sales pitch. One thing that Drayton May has been selling me, telling me, and, and sending me are the lawsuits that uh, are happening to real estate agents right now that are getting people into properties that are too expensive right now. If this is not a worry for you, if there's not a concern as far as how bad things are right now, protect yourself, protect your family. I just wanted to do a quick video today, guys, to, to cover this, but think about this. Jamie Dimon is not doing this for his health. He doesn't want to be on TV. He can care less about you. He cares about his bank. He cares about his rich friends. And they're telling you, hey, um, right now, you know, we're preparing. If this thing goes south, you're going to have a major problem. There's the pier. Okay. I'm going to walk back to the car. But uh, it's amazing, guys. The retail establishments down here in these resort communities, Surf City, USA, Huntington Beach, that still cannot survive down here. Get yourself ready. And... Uh, your medications, talk to your doctor. Oh, we can't do that. Your insurance company won't allow it. You call your insurance company. I am, I am seriously concerned about uh, uh, pharmaceutical shortages, and I want to have a extra month supply. Work out the deal with them right now. Do it now. Do not wait. Do not hesitate because this is going to happen, and they're going to have these shortages right now. And you're going to be, you're going to be. Th then, then you're doomed. Okay, because once that happens, then you're, you've got panic in the streets with banking and panic in the streets with uh, with uh, everything. Okay, so please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just wanted to do a bonus Jonas video for you guys today. Okay, so onward and upward, guys. I will see you very soon. And don't forget to join the email list because that's where it's getting announced uh, on uh, Christmas in May. Okay. I will see you guys very soon.